everybody, welcome to another episode here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's routine is a total body flexibility workout that you can do at any time, whether you've done a workout already or if you're just kind of waking up, it's a gentle stretch. So you might want a mat if you're on a hard surface, but other than that, carpet should be fine. We're gonna start with the feet about hip distance apart and just start taking a nice deep breath in, stretching the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, inhaling through the nose, and then exhale, just release through your mouth, pressing the shoulders down the back. Let's try that again. Inhaling deeply through the nose and exhale, let it go. Good, now this time just bring your arms overhead. You're gonna interlace your fingers together, pointing the pointer finger and the thumb over, and we're just gonna lean the hips away, reaching towards the opposite direction. So really just start to open up your side body here and come back to the center. Go to the other side, just leaning the hips, making a nice big C curve through that upper body and come back to the center. Let's use the breath with this. Inhaling up and over and exhale, return to center. Do it again. Inhale up and over. Exhale, come back to center. Good, now from here, just go ahead and bend your knees. Take your hands on top of your thighs, sit back into your hips, and we're gonna inhale, tuck the tailbone, bringing the chin up into the chest, really round your spine, and exhale, look towards the ceiling, arch through the back. Do that again, nice deep inhale, really round your back as much as you can. Exhale, reverse it, look all the way up to the ceiling. Again, inhale round, peanut, you need to stretch with me and exhale arch. Good. So from here, we're gonna just keep the knees bent and start to slide the hands down the front of your legs. So if you start to feel a stretch at your shins, keep your hands there. Maybe you can go to your ankles. Maybe you're ready to go to the floor. Just kind of notice what's working for you. And then I want you to inhale, look out and up with your eyes and then exhale, round the body forward. We're gonna go ahead and grab a hold of the opposite elbows with the hands. Yes, come on, we're stretching. Holding onto the elbows, relax the crown of the head to the floor. Release your hands, bend your knees, and just slowly start to roll up through your spine, stacking one vertebrae at a time. Try to stand nice and tall at the top, roll the shoulders down your back. Good, so let's take a split stance. Now she's ready to stretch. And take one heel back behind you, keeping that back leg nice and straight. The front knee can be bent and just kind of press your pelvis forward. So you should feel a little bit of a stretch in the front of the hip, but also down that back heel, stretching through the tendon and the calf muscle. Good, now if you need a little help with your balance, you can grab a hold of the wall close by with this out back hand. But we're gonna stretch our front arm up and away from that back heel. So it requires a little bit of balance, grab something if you need some help. But really Really ground through your back heel and reach out and away from that leg. Good, slowly come back up. Before we switch legs, we're gonna extend that front leg as straight as we can. Hinge forward from your hips, lengthen your chest out over that front leg. And again, going to your own degree, walk your hand down your leg to your shin, to your ankle. Maybe you're ready to reach the floor. Just release the head down, relax the body. Try to square your hips up as much as you can. So we're gonna pull this front hip back, lengthening your chest out over that leg. Good, now just softly bend that front knee and let's roll up. And we're gonna do that on the other side. So we're gonna switch out the legs, taking the other leg back behind, grounding through that back heel. Just start with the hands at the hips, press the pelvis forward, feel that stretch in the hip flexor, down the back leg. Taking that other arm up and over. Remember, if you need to, grab onto something for your balance. Just really press down through that back heel and lengthen out and over to the side. Good, coming back up, hands to the hips. Extend that front knee as straight as you can, but don't lock out your knee. So you wanna think of pulling up through the quadriceps muscle. Hinge forward. Be careful if you have hyperextended joints, it's very easy to lock out your knee. Walk the hand down to your own degree, finding your own level of stretch. So remember, stretching should never be painful. It might feel a little intense at times, but it should never cause pain. That's a sign you're going too far into something. Soften that front knee again, and let's roll back up slowly. 
Beautiful, so let's get into the inner thighs a little bit more. We're gonna take the feet nice and wide apart. And I want you to just start by bending this knee, sitting back into your hips, bring both hands to that bent leg. So we should feel a nice little stretch in the inner thigh of that opposite leg. Keep it nice and straight here. Just pressing the hips back behind you. Good, now from there, I want you to pivot that back foot, turning to the side. We're also gonna pivot the front foot. Lift the back heel, drop a little lower into a nice low lunge position. So keeping the chest lifted for now, really extend through that back leg, press your energy out through your heel. Good, now let's see if we can take the front hand down to the inside of that foot, and we're gonna extend the back arm and just look up towards that hand, opening the chest to the wall that's behind you. Just take some nice deep breaths, holding that nice twist, opening the chest. Good, let's come back, placing both hands back on top of the thigh. And from there, take your hands to your hips and just see if you can give me a little extension back, opening across your chest, holding that lunge position. Open, open, open towards the ceiling. And then slowly come back to neutral, extend through that front leg, and let's turn the feet back to the front. So now we're gonna set that up to the other side. So we're gonna bend the opposite knee, sit back into your hips, stretching through the inner thigh on that other leg, just hold it here. So pay attention to your breathing. If you notice you're starting to hold your breath a little bit, you might be going a little too far into your stretch. Just try to relax. Pivoting into it, lifting the back heel, turning both toes all the way to the side. Just drop as low as you can into that lunge. Again, we're getting back into that hip flexor. Take that front hand down to the floor if you can and extend your back arm up. Look up to your fingertips. Just really open through the chest. Beautiful, let's walk both hands back on top of the thigh. Bring the hands to the hips, and we're gonna go for that extension again. Press the pelvis forward, open the chest to the ceiling, just lean back as far as you comfortably can go. Good, and slowly from here, bring your hands to your thigh, bend your back knee down to the floor. So we're gonna gently make our way to our hands and our knees here. So just take your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You can release your toes to the floor. We're gonna inhale and extend our front arm all the way up to the ceiling, going into that rotation again. Exhale, let's take that hand all the way down underneath that back arm. Bring your shoulder to the floor. And I want you to think of gently pulling the shoulder blades away from each other. So feel a nice gentle stretch across your upper back. Just gently pressing with your back hand to help you rotate. Breathing deep and slowly come back to the hands and the knees. And let's reverse it. Back arm reaches up, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, tuck it under, reaching through. So again, thinking about pulling the shoulder blades apart, stretching across that upper back here. Good, you can keep looking towards the ceiling with the eyes to keep twisting a little bit deeper into that stretch. Beautiful, from here let's return back to the hands and the knees. And we're just gonna sit the hips back to the heels and walk the hands out in front. So you can bring your forehead all the way down to the floor if that's comfortable for you. If your knees are more comfortable wider apart, open them up. Maybe you might like them closer together. Just kind of make yourself as comfy as you can in this position. And to keep stretching through the side and the back, we're gonna walk both hands over to one side of the mat, stacking one palm on top of the other. Just drop your head between your arms and relax down. Good, let's walk it over to the opposite side, stacking the other hand on top, opening up through that side body. 
Good. From here, come back into the center with the hands. And just slowly walk your hands in, rolling up through the spine. So we're going to see if we can stay here seated. If this starts to bother your knees, you can put a block or a pillow underneath your hips to alleviate some of that pressure. But we want to see if we can just start to lean back slightly, pressing the pelvis forward so that we're getting a little deeper stretch into the quadriceps. Some of you may even have the flexibility to go all the way back down to your elbows. Just see where you start to feel that stretch. Good. From there, walk it forward. And let's go ahead and bring ourselves all the way down so that we're laying face down on the mat. Just extending the legs long behind the body, placing the hands right underneath the shoulders. Extend away from the floor, drop your shoulders away from your ears, and just open across your chest. So let your hips just be resting against the mat. Opening the chest, extending the spine, just taking some nice deep breaths here. Good, and gently relax back down. And we're just gonna press the hips back towards the heels and come to a seated position. So just go ahead and sit with me with your legs crossed. And again, you can make this more comfortable by sitting on top of a block or a pillow if you need to. From that cross-legged position, just stretch out and over to one side. So we're gonna use the bottom hand here for support. Some of you may be able to drop your elbow to the floor, just see what works. What we don't wanna do is lift this opposite hip. So really press that hip down, reach out and over to the side. Good, now we're gonna lift up nice and tall through the spine and take that arm across to the opposite knee, press against it and look back over your shoulder. So give me a nice twist through the spine, but make sure you're keeping that nice length through the back as you spiral and look back over your shoulder. Good, take it back to the center. Inhale, both arms overhead. Exhale, just fold forward over your legs, opening up through the hips. So just relax your head down, using the body weight to help open up your knees. Slowly roll it up. And let's just go ahead and switch the leg that's crossed in front and go to the other side. So we're gonna stretch up and over, grounding through the hips. Go as far to the side as you can without lifting that opposite hip. Good. Sitting up nice and tall, just really think length as you come back up. Take that hand across to your opposite leg, pressing against that thigh. Nice, tall, twist, look back over that shoulder. Good, coming to the center now. Let's go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet together. And just starting to open up through the inner thighs. Tuck the heels in as close as you comfortably can. Hinge forward if you'd like. You can use your elbows to gently open the knees. Maybe you even want to start to walk them down to the floor. Just rounding forward again. We're using our body weight here to just gently open through the inner thighs. Good. And from this position, we're going to extend our back leg out straight, tucking that heel in. See if you can take both hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, inhale, open the chest and reach those hands up as high behind your back as you can. And we're gonna keep opening the chest and reach out and over the leg. So we don't wanna round forward, we wanna keep the chest opening as we hinge forward at the hips. Lift those arms up as high as you comfortably can. Just kinda let your eyes gaze downward so you're not stressing the neck by looking up at me. Now we're gonna release the hands and I want you to reach towards your foot. Just grab onto your leg wherever you can. Maybe you're gonna hold on at your calf. Maybe you can reach your ankle. Maybe you can interlace your fingers together behind your foot. Don't judge it, just see where you're at. Honor your body today. Good, lengthen through the spine. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, round over. Good, let's slowly release the hands, stack the spine as we come back up and we're going to take that to the other side so just switch out the legs tucking the other foot in extending the opposite leg out reaching both hands behind you interlace your fingers open through the chest 
hinge forward as far as you can comfortably go without rounding forward. Open the chest, relax your neck, raise the arms up behind the back. Good, and release your hands, reach towards your foot. See how far forward you can comfortably go. Inhale, lengthening through the spine, looking out and up a little bit. And then exhale, relax down. Good, and just go ahead and let go from here. Let's bring both the knees in from here. And then just gently lifting up with your hands, press forward, walking the hands all the way in front of your feet. So I want you to just come into a low crouch. We're gonna walk the feet wider than hip width apart. I want you to think about a frog here. You're gonna try and drop your heels to the floor. If they're not all the way down yet, that's okay. Just see where you can go. If your heels are down comfortably, see if you can bring your hands together. And again, just gently using the elbows to opening the knees, lengthen the spine, and lift your chest. If you need those hands to be on the floor, just keep them right there. Good, take some nice deep breaths. And we're gonna gently bring the hands back to the floor if they're not already there. Shift your weight forward, extend the legs as straight as you can, turning the knees and toes back forward. Relax the crown of the head to the floor. Soften your knees just a bit and slowly start to roll up through your spine, lengthening, stacking one vertebrae at a time. Good, roll the shoulders down the back. Let's just take a nice deep breath here together to finish inhaling the arms up. And exhale, bring the hands together through heart center. One more time, nice deep breath in through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. Thank you so much for taking this quick stretch with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you're looking for more of our flexibility routines, we have a whole playlist of them. Check out the link below. Be sure to leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and leave me a request for another workout. Thanks for joining us today, guys. We look forward to sweating with you again real soon.